In this lesson, I'm going to discuss simple decision statements. We're going to start by creating pseudocode for a very simple Alice program. The first thing that I like to do is to declare my variables. And I generally list them by type. We're only going to have one variable in this program. And I'm going to call it my variable. Since I normally declare them by type, I usually will just list each variable in a category. I only have one, but I'll start the category of Boolean. Boolean values can only have two assigned values. So we would initialize this to either true or false. So we're going to start with a Boolean variable named my variable, which will be listed as false. I'm going to put a character on the stage, and if my variable is true, you always tab in for all the instructions that will be in done incrementally if it's true the character will say the variable is true. Else, and the only other choice here is false. You could also spell that out. Else if my variable is false. You do not actually have to spell that out because that's the only other option, but I want to make it clearer. The character will say the variable is false. Then I want to change the variable and if you use an equal sign, a single equal sign, that's the assignment um, operator. If you use two equal signs, it compares. So here we're setting the variable, my variable. We're storing a new value in it. We're going to set it equal to true. And then we're going to repeat the code. It's a very, very simple program just to show you what would happen. Now I'm going to flowchart that. All flowcharts will start with a terminator or start end symbol, usually given the name of the program, which will just be called decision. The first thing that we're going to do, and we're not getting data from a user or displaying on screen. So we're just going to consider this a process. We're going to set my variable equal to false. In the program, we can both declare to make the variable exist and assign a value to it at the same time, which is called initializing it. The next step would be to check to see if the variable is true or false. And typically, you would just put text on either side for the connector, one saying true and one saying false. Let's go ahead and put the symbol out there. Since it's going to say something, it would be either
say true, he'll actually say the variable is equal to true, or say false, the variable would be equal to false. Now in a structured program, the logic would always return back to the main part of the structure. So regardless of what happens, the next process will be on the main part of the structure, and it will be set my variable equal to true. And again, we check the decision. Is my variable true or false? If it's true, we say true. If it's false, we say false. And again, we would return to the main logic, and the program would end. So to trace the logic through the flowchart, let's go ahead and put our connectors in. We start the decision program by initializing the variable and setting it to false. After that, we check to see, is it false or true? If it's false, you will say the variable is false. And if it's true, you'll state the variable is true. And then you'll return to the main logic of the program, where the next process is to change what the variable is set to. Then you'll check it again. If it's true, you'll say it's true. If it's false, you'll say it's false. Either way, you will return the program and end. And you can click on these and put the, var the variables in here, true or false. And I like to use the auto align and space when I'm done. Now we can move the whole thing so it's all on one page. At this point, if I were to hand in my logic, I would print it to a PDF from the print statements. But that's my logic for the program. In the next video, we'll actually create the program.